Well, tonight, there's a new project underway in Quincy to prevent flooding during extreme rain. WBC's meteorologist Sarah Blesky shows us what this flood mitigation project may look like in tonight's Eye on Earth. One of the first major incidents I had as mayor was in 2010 when this part of the city went underwater. We had 10 inches of rain in, uh, in around a 24-hour period. And there was just nowhere for the water to go. The water came up like 50 yards from the swamp areas. Residents in West Quincy know how quickly water can flood along the Furnace Brook and are happy to see construction underway. I'm glad to see they're doing something with it. The project here is one of allowing for more volume when we have flooding events, as well as cleaning out all the invasive species and planting new wetland type uh, plant material that like wet feet. This nearly million dollar project is preparing the city for extreme rain events, which are more likely to occur with climate change. It seems like every 10 to 20 years we have a major event, and it's the same streets that get affected because they're the low point. Flynn Enterprises, a service disabled veteran owned business, is working to remove the current Quincy granite that lined the brook and regrade the banks from Quarry Street to Father McLone Drive, an area parallel to the Furnace Brook Parkway. So, right now, as you can see behind me, the brook is straight. When we're finished, the brook is going to meander from left to right. It's going to have natural stone in it, but what the meandering does is allows for a lot more capacity, so it will be able to hold more water in rain events. This flood mitigation project is going to update a system that's over 100 years old, and you can already see a drastic change in landscape. This design is also going to make it a more beautiful place for people to visit. There are a ton of plantings going in afterwards. It is, uh, it's been looked at a number of times, and it's going to look very, very nice when it's finished. There's a lot of wetland plants going in, trees being replanted, a specific uh, wetland grass seed that's going in. It will be very nice when it's finished. A step to a more sustainable, climate-ready future. At the end of the day, this will be good for the environment. It will also be good for the neighborhood, not far from here, that literally we're taking people out on boats from their homes in that event. It was uh, in March of 2010. Hmm. Now, a lot of people have been questioning because there's a lot of plants and trees that right. have been cut down, but they did tell me that they're going to put in about 350 new ones, wow. and it should be wrapped up by the summertime. Well, those neighbors have to be so glad because these things aren't happening less frequently, yeah. and that certainly will mitigate some of the threat. Yeah. You yeah. talked about that just last hour, right? Yeah. Making these small steps that can make a big difference. Yes, yeah. and that's one of them, and Quincy is definitely pushing forward, especially when it comes to climate change and impacts.